Hi. A user on the Magix Info Forum requested some help in trimming, moving, and fading video and audio clips in PhotoStory. The goal was to cut a long soundtrack and fade out the soundtrack, then fade in the video audio segment, fade out the video audio segment, then fade in the soundtrack at the point it was previously cut. First, use a timeline mode, as this cannot be done in storyboard mode. I'm in Photo Story 2019, and I already have a few photos on track 1, and an audio file, a song, on track 4. You can see that the song is quite long. I want to insert a video clip, and I can preview it first by clicking on the preview button. There's no way to trim this clip before importing it. Commands for video editing are quite limited in Photo Story. Magic's MovieEdit Pro Plus and Premium have many more tools to facilitate video editing. I'll import this by dragging the clip onto the timeline. I'll move along the timeline to find where I want the video to start and cut off the beginning or the head. OK, right about here. Select the video clip and I can trim off just the beginning by clicking the down arrow beside the scissors and selecting Remove Object Start. It's removed but leaves a gap, so I'll drag the object to be at the end of the last photo. It'll snap into place. I'll move along the timeline to where I want the video to end, put the playback marker there, and I'll click on the down arrow again, and this time select Remove Object End, and it's gone. I'll move the playback marker to the beginning of the video clip. This is where the user wants the song to be cut. I'll click on the audio object to select it, and click on the scissors or the drop down arrow, and select Splitting Object. The audio object is now cut into two. I'll move the right object to line up its beginning with the end of the video clip as requested. It'll snap into place. Back to the end of the audio clip, I want it to fade out, so I'll drag the fade handle to the left. And I'll fade in the video clip. You can't do a fade of the video and audio independently with PhotoStory. You'd need MovieEdit Pro for that. But I'll drag the fade handle to the right to get a fade in. And I'll fade out the video clip by dragging the fade handle to the left. As requested, I'll fade in the beginning of the audio object. Continue to add in more photos, then another video clip, trim it, cut the audio, move the right part, etc, etc. Now I'll back up a bit. You might not like having the audio fade out and then the video fade in. If you want the audio to fade out as the video fades in, then just drag the bottom right handle of the audio clip towards the right. Now the audio parts are overlapped. For the next part, you can either drag the audio start point to extend it to the left, or move the audio clip itself to the left to create a crossfade. Bonus tip! There's another way to do this without cutting the audio track. It's called ducking or damping. I'll delete the right audio object and drag the right end of the left one towards the right. I want to reduce the volume of the audio object on track 4 where I have the video on track 1. Select the video clip, open effects in the top menu, and select decrease volume. This opens a dialog box to decrease the volume of other audio tracks. There are three choices, soft, medium, and hard, meaning reduce the volume a bit, reduce it more, or reduce a lot. I'll leave it at medium. Next is the crossfade duration, and the default is 0.7 seconds. Change this to what you want. Lastly is a checkbox that is actually for the inverse effect and is used when the selected audio object is not the video's audio. I'll leave it unchecked and click on OK. This turns on the volume curve of track 4, and you can see that its volume decreases over the length of the video. Move the mouse over one of the points, and the decrease is 87 decibels. You can see the length of the fade on each side. You can move the points as you wish. For no sound, simply drag the left and right points down to the bottom. You can add points by double-clicking on the line. That's all there is to it. There's much more to learn about editing, but this should help you get started editing on the timeline. Thank you for watching. Till next time, make movies.